I'm David Brindley. I'm a professor of biochemistry at the University of Alberta and I've been funded in the past by the Canadian Breast Cancer Foundation and the work that we're going to discuss today is the work that I did uh, during that process of funding and, and which was enabled by the Canadian Breast Cancer Foundation. Well, the research is, I, I think, a new way of looking at cancer progression. And there are two big problems in treating breast cancer or any other kinds of cancer. Um, the first one is the spread of the tumor to other parts of the body, a process called metastasis. And the second thing is the development of resistance to effective therapy. So chemotherapy or radiation therapy. Um, and so I think what we found is a new way of overcoming those problems. Cancer is like a wound that doesn't heal. And we've been examining uh, and doing research on a, on a protein called autotaxin and that produces a compound called LPA. And when you are wounded and you have inflammation, what that does is enables the body to repair the wound. The same process takes place in cancer. During that process of inflammation, what happens is that the inflamed tissue, in, in this case for breast cancer, the inflamed uh, breast tissue, produces and stimulates the production of autotaxin, Autotaxin produces more inflammation, more inflammation produces more autotaxin, and what we're trying to do, and we have achieved, is to block that process, that vicious cycle of inflammation which drives cancer progression, the spread of the tumor, and the resistance to therapy. We've used the same process with thyroid cancers and thyroid cancers respond and I think any cancer cell will respond so it could be used I think for ovarian melanoma in particular, glioblastoma, um, pancreatic, colonic, especially colonic cancer. I really would like to thank uh, CBCF because uh, um, the, the money and the support that CBCF gave me enabled us to make these discoveries and hopefully translate this work into clinical practice and we hope this is going to take place in February. So I think I would like to think this is an example of basic research being translated into the clinic and so thank you so much to the Canadian Breast Cancer Foundation.